Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today we are doing a segment called Don't Trust the United States Postal Service. Why, you may ask? Well, there's lots of reasons. But today we're focusing on one, their insurance scam. Yes. So, I had never in the past really had any reason to insure a package or anything like that. But uh, I have uh, I have a lot of collectibles, and I sell collectibles that I'm either you know I'm either running out of room or anything you know that, and I just need to get rid of them. So occasionally I will sell collectibles and mail them out. And uh, and first off, I don't think the post office understands that people sell things from their homes, either stuff they make or things through eBay or something like that. And, and you'll see what I mean in, in just a moment when I, I tell you about one of the questions that they ask. Um, but anyway, I had a, a 30 year old Batman poster. It was a collectible limited edition poster signed by the artist. And um, I just didn't have room for this anymore. So I, I sold it online and went ahead and got extra insurance on it just in case it got damaged because you know, you can't replace it. 30 years old and I sent it off and the package was crushed so of course the the poster inside was crushed and crinkled and stuff as well um, I said well that's okay I got insurance and I told the person that bought it I said I've got insurance here's the insurance information just take that into the post office and submit it to, to file a claim well they didn't want to do that they're like no you do it so I looked online and I could do it. You can submit as a sender or a receiver for the package. So I went online and I started answering their online questions. Uh, the person that bought it sent me the pictures of the packaging and the, the damage to the packaging as well as the poster and things like that. So I had all of that. And going back to what I said earlier that I don't think the post office understands that people make things or sell things from their home. One of the questions asked is provide a picture of the receipt of where you bought the the item so that we know how much it costs well first off if it was something I made like I'm an Etsy seller or something I'm not gonna have a receipt where I bought an item because I made it same thing goes with collectibles you know this was a 30 year old piece I, I got this 30 some years ago I'm not gonna have a receipt from 30 years ago and and at the time when I got it I didn't even think that I was gonna be selling it so why would I need the receipt um, but I thought, well, that's the first thing that's going to go wrong. But, uh, what I did in place of that was I took a picture of the buyer's receipt where the buyer bought it. It showed how much they, they bought it for, which I guess worked. They didn't question that, but I, uh, I filled out their application. I, uh, I uploaded the photos of all the damage and everything like that. And then I waited. It said it could take 30 days. Okay. Well, 30 days passed and I got a letter. I got a letter and the letter said, take the package into your local post office so they can look at it. Okay. Well, first off I filed as the seller, which means I don't have it anymore. The buyer has it, but I went, okay, whatever. So I contacted the buyer and I said, can you send me that stuff back? Cause I've got to now take it into the post office. So luckily they hadn't trashed it. They sent me the stuff back. And I took it into the, the local post office, presented them with, with the letter and said, uh, you know, they told me to bring it in here, which the post office didn't believe when I brought it in. They're like, well, what do you mean? They're just supposed to send you a check in like 30 to 60 days. And I'm like, no, the letter says, bring it in. So I brought it in, spoke to the supervisor at the, at the post office who took the, the, the items into the back did whatever they were supposed to do, filed whatever they were supposed to do. And they said, okay, uh, you're going to get another letter that tells you that it's been processed and to come back into the post office to pick up the check for the insurance. Like, okay, great. So I'll wait on this letter. So I waited another 30 days or so, and I got a letter. I got another letter. I got another letter. And the letter said, we are denying your claim because you did not take the items into the post office. I took the items into the post office and they kept them. So I had a chance to appeal. So appeal I did. 
And I put the information in the appeal of where I went, what office I went into, what I surrendered to them, what they kept, and that they could check with that office because paperwork was filed that it was turned in and submitted the appeal. Another maybe 20 days or so letter, later, I got another letter. I got another letter and it said, basically, no, we don't believe you, we're denying the claim. So what is the point of getting insurance? If you're just gonna give a person this runaround for three months, take their items, which somebody has a 30 year old collectible item now at the post office, probably on their wall. They don't care if it's a little damaged or not because it's a cool poster. The supervisor even said, that's a really cool poster. And I went, mm-hmm. So I don't get it. What more do you, I, I did everything you wanted me to do. I took the items in for inspection, more paperwork was filed, and now you're calling me a liar because you don't want to pay out on the claim. So do not post, do not, do not uh, trust the United States post office because especially this insurance scam because they're going to find a way around it they're not going to pay you even though you do exactly what they want and then they're going to take your items and keep them it's all a scam so beware never again will i insure anything that i send to the post office because it's not worth anything you're just throwing money away so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if you have Click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.